If you ever heard of AnyType, because whether you have or haven't, I'm gonna show you three AnyType hacks that you've never heard of. So AnyType is a Notion alternative that a lot of people are raving about. Every time I make a video on AnyType, people go, hey, can you make another video on AnyType? And I'm like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, I'll make a video on AnyType. Now, first and foremost, what a lot of people may not know about AnyType is that it does in fact have a graph view. Well, this is one of the more talked about features within AnyType, I did want to point out that when you click on any of these nodes, you can open this up. But what's different about it is that you actually can change that graph view to a navigation view. Now, what this navigation view does is it actually shows you where the different links come from and is a step by step navigation in this process. So you can see here the home links to multiple pages. So, for example, the notes section which then leads to an extra note within it. And then it shows you other notes that it can, it's connected to. So you can almost follow this path every single time. If I were to click on this and open it, I can then go to the navigation view and you'll see it in an entirely different setup where you can see all the different links to it. And this is actually a really great way to learn the software. So for example, in this get started page, you'll see all of the different sections and it explains exactly how it works. And then when you click on this one, you'll notice there is no links. If I open it up, this is the exact way that search works. And then if I wanted to navigate again, I could go back into that module of the graph view and I'd get back into this view. Now, how do connections like this work? You'll see here that this class notes one, if I open it up, I have different pages within it. So these are different sub pages, similar to what you have in Notion, right? But within this graph view, you'll notice that this girdle, esser, and golden braid are sub items within this page. But what's interesting here is that this doesn't seem to be a page itself. If we go back into this view, how does that work? We'll see that this is essentially the page content within the pages turning into linked projects. So this guy right here, unlike these, is just page content. Whereas this with the emoji is an another sub page within this class notes page, or I should say module, force of habit from Notion. So for example, when I make an example new item here, this is a class notes section. So I'm gonna call this marketing, and then I'm gonna add this class here, and you'll see that it is an object rather than anything else. So search objects, what do we have in here? So this is a one that what I would have to make. So I'd have to create this object Open it up. Let's just use page as a blank canvas. Could add a background to this. I'm going to call it marketing. At the top, I'm going to add money. Then we're going to do some example page content. So page notes or lecture notes. So then when we go back into the graph view, you'll see that this marketing object has its page content marketing within there. But then if I go back here to this class notes page, a way to link this would be if I did slash link, link to object marketing. So just like this, if I go here, class notes is now also linked to marketing, which as you can see on this little mark here is in the class notes section here, a relation or a property that is marketing. So linking within this is pretty interesting. And then the last trick here is that you can actually change the entire vibe and layout of a set. So like a like a page, I guess I keep calling it wanted to call it a set or a page. If you go here to this layout button, obviously, as per any other item within a database, you could change the different relations that are on it. But what you also can do is change the layout type, which is really cool. So you can change this to a profile pick, then you can like pick a uh, new logo like this, or you can change the layout to be just an action. So it just turns into a checkbox, or you can just be a note, then it completely gets rid of this top section which is pretty convenient because for a lot of people, they end up just removing the covers in Notion, but they still have to deal with the icons. And then you can also set the layout width as well to be a custom size. That's right. It can be max or in the middle, which is definitely something that a lot of people would like because there's a ability to turn things into different columns, as one can see. And if we make it wider, you can also change it again layout wise and make it smaller to whatever our preference is. And then you also have the option to align the text however way you want, whether it be a line center, right or left. If you want more tips and tricks on how to use any type, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below and let me know what you think about this video and how to improve your productivity even more.